guys, up until we can get you back in the gym, we're gonna be sending out some daily at-home workouts. These workouts will be separated into three pieces. There'll be a mobility piece, there'll be a workout, and there'll be a finisher. You'll find these workouts coming, they'll be from your Wattify email, so the, the email address you have in Wattify will be what we use to send these emails out. If for some reason you're not getting these emails, just make sure you email Laura or myself and we'll make sure we update the email address that we're sending out to. So we're gonna kick off today's workout with a little bit of mobility to kind of prep us and allow us to do this workout the best we can. We're gonna start with a lizard pose. So what we're gonna do is set up with one leg in the front, all right? And if you look at Spencer over here, you'll notice that both of his hands are on the inside of that front foot. If you're a little more flexible, you can drop your forearms down to the ground like Laura's doing over here. And what we're gonna do is hold one minute on each side. Next, we're gonna drop down into a frog position to open up the groin and the hips a little bit. If you can see Spencer's feet behind him, his feet are close together. If you're a little bit more flexible, if you can see Laura's, her feet are more spread apart. At the end, you guys can come on down to the forearms or you can sit up tall with your arms straight, whatever works best for you, but we're gonna spend one minute in that pose. And the last position we will hold is a saddle. So if you're flexible and you can sit back on your heels, do so. If not, just sit up tall on your knees like Laura's showing you here. You're gonna pull one arm across your body. That should stretch out the backside of that shoulder. You'll spend 30 seconds there, and then when you're done, we'll switch arms. Okay, today's workout is a 20-minute AMRAP. The 20-minute AMRAP is gonna follow a ladder scheme. It's gonna go by threes. So three, six, nine, 12, and there's gonna be three movements. The first movement is gonna be a plyo lunge. There'll be three different ways we can complete this movement. The first is gonna be an actual plyometric lunge that looks just like this. Every time he jumps is one. Now, if we can't do that plyo or we can't control ourselves in that plyo lunge, the next is gonna be a switch lunge, which is just gonna put a jump and come back to center every time. So that'd be one, two, three, one more, four. All right, if we don't have the ability to do that, we can do in place lunges that look just like this. One, two, and three. Those are our three options, plyos, switch lunges, and in-place lunges. All right, the next movement is an elbow plank and hip tap. What this will look like, you'll be in an elbow plank and you're gonna bring the front of your hip to the ground. So both angles here, you can see the head-on angle, making sure he stays nice and tight, his back's not rounded. And then from the side, you can see where he's actually hitting the front of his hip to the ground. Every time your hip touches is one. All right, the final movement is a down, out, in, up, and we'll show both angles here. They'll show two of them. And relax. All right, so those are the three movements, and it just goes three of every, every movement, six of every movement, nine, and continues on until the 20 minutes have been completed. So three plyo lunges, three elbow plank and hip taps, three down, out, in, up. There's one other piece. After each round, you're gonna complete a 30 second stone chair. So when I do three, 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 after I've done those, that, that round of three, I'm gonna do a 30 second stone chair and that stone chair is gonna look just like this, right at 90 degrees and I'm holding. The goal is I wanna keep my chest as vertical as I can and that's what we're gonna do. If we have to break this up into two different holds or three different holds, we just have to accumulate 30 seconds before we move on. Once they're done with their 30 seconds, they can stand. Now they would start their six plyo lunges, their six elbow plank and hip taps, and six down, out, in, up. And they do another 30 second stone chair. Continue that for 20 minutes. All right guys, have fun. So today's finisher is gonna be a little core piece, a 30, 20, 10, that is four times. So it's gonna start off with 30 single leg V-ups. All right, so Spencer's over here showing you the V-up. The leg's gonna stay straight. Notice the heel returns to the ground as well as the hands for each rep. And if that becomes too difficult, we can do what Laura's doing here, which is a single leg tuck up, where we kind of bend the knee and bring that knee into the chest. After 30 of those, you're gonna come up and you're gonna give me 30 Russian twists double count. All right, so we're gonna rotate from side to side. Every, every other rep is one until you get to 30. When you're done, we've got 20 single leg V-ups, 20 double count Russian twist, 10 and 10, and then you're done.